Hey, how's everybody doing? This is Phil with IP Tuts, and today we will be going over part two to the electric logo tutorial. Um, if you haven't seen part one, go ahead and go check out that before you continue, um, just so you can catch up and, and be on the same page as the rest of us. Right now, we're going to take it from Illustrator CS4 or Illustrator CS5 rather, and take it into Adobe After Effects CS4. Um, and that's where we're going to add lightning, um, some reflections, some sparks, and show you a couple of tricks that you can use throughout your process of, of creating anything really, uh, taking it one from one program to another. Um, so uh, tune in or, or stay tuned in and let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so thank you for tuning in today we will be going over the second part of the electric logo tutorial and um, if you if you if you're seeing this video first you and you didn't get a chance to watch the first one check it out and uh, I show you exactly how to create this uh, lovely little elegant neon glowing type font text thing going and uh, that way you can catch up and then just go ahead shoot back over here and check this one out um, alright so just to kind of recap we have all of our layers are all visible and the way we're actually going to import this um, actually well, what we're going to do is well I'll get to that in a minute the way we're going to import this is we're going to take it into After Effects and uh, add the lightning and the sparks and stuff like that just because it's it's easier it's fun and I want to show you exactly how easy it is to go between two different uh, Adobe products um, which is amazing to me I love it and I, I really don't use anything else but Adobe unless it's uh, 3ds Max which is another amazing 3d application but we're not going to get get into all that today um, alright so uh, in the last tutorial I didn't really tell you specific artboard size and that's because there's really no specific size you have to have it for me mine is 1480.43 by 420 um, but as for you you can make a 720 it, it just depends on if you're going to animate it or if it's just going to be uh, rendered as a still image which uh, this is actually set up to do so that's why it's an awkward uh, size and it's not like 720 by 1280 or, or something like that um, just simply because it's just an image uh, now that that's done what we're actually going to do is delete this black background because we're not going to need it and if we was imported then it oh you know what no I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let it be shown because I want to show you guys something so what I'll do is I'm gonna take this over and I'm going I'm, I'm to just bring it in. You don't have to. Don't worry about it. We're actually going to delete it. But I want to show you the, the why I love Adobe so much. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and save this real quick. Get control S. Always, always save. Constantly and often. Often and constantly. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and hop into After Effects CS4. And uh, we're going to double click to bring in our footage. Um, this is actually a file. So you want to navigate to where your AI file is located. And double click it now you have two options you have footage and you have composition footage just uh, imports whatever is being shown in that uh, on that artboard at that time composition allows all those other layers to become selectable so you would bring in and these wouldn't be turned on um, or visible but they would still be there and so we'd be able to mess with them but since that's not what we want we're not going to use that we just want whatever is in this artboard at this specific time so what we're going to do is we're just going to select footage and click OK. Now it's brought in the file, and you can see in the little preview window up here that it's 1481. I guess it rounds it up, which is cool by me, no big deal. And whatnot. So we're going to select it and create a new composition, which is that. Bam, just like that. Even though, well, it wasn't. It wasn't supposed to be visible, but it still brought it in. Here, let me, let me, let me show you guys something real quick. Um, let's say let's say we brought that in right and we're like oh crap we don't want that shown and you can't actually edit that within here um, there's no way to actually edit that but the beauty about Adobe and their them just being geniuses they're like hey look you can reload the footage so what we're going to do is we'll go in here we'll select that black box and delete it and save it again <clears throat> so now that's gone because that's not what we want we don't want it there anyways well at least I don't you can if you want um, and we'll go back into there and what we'll do is you're like well it's still there well what we'll do is we'll right click go reload footage and voila bam it's gone um, in After Effects you can 
do the trans you can toggle the transparency by clicking this little checkered box right here and as you can see it's gone now um and that's just that's well, that's one of the many beauties about uh going between the products you you can actually do it 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 doesn't have to be i mean it, even if it was just like a jpeg image and you saved it out you can just always right click reload and it changes it anyways let's get back to what we were doing i'm going to zoom into 100% and focus in on this area here we're actually only going to need four different layers so what we're going to do is control y uh command I think it's command Y on a Mac. I'm not really sure I'm not on a Mac, I'm on a PC, so um please make your adjustments accordingly. And we'll just make it comp size. So straight black solid, uh not the special. And this will be for our we'll do the sparks first. So it's a select our layer, press enter to rename it, and we're just gonna name it sparks space one. And the reason for that is when we go duplicate it, it will automatically name it Sparks Space 2. Um, so this is Sparks 1. Uh, right click, go to Effects. We're going to go to Simulation. Simulation CC Particle World. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the floor, we're going to turn it off. Birth rate will be 0 0.1. Longevity will be 0 0.11. And we will take, oopsie, oh, also, within itself, let's, uh, it's only going to be still image, um, so what we'll do is, we don't need 30 seconds, well, you know what, we can, that's fine, um, eventually we're just going to take it down to one, one frame and save it out, but for now, I guess just to be able to, to pick how we want our sparks to look, that's fine with me, and what we'll do is we'll grab the producer and move it over to this corner here. The reason for me picking this corner and this corner is to, to kind of conduct, make it look like, you know, electricity conducting between two points. Um, and so, yeah. Anyways, for you it may be different. You may have another letter over in this side, not on the end, or whatever the case may be, depending on, on uh, the choice of words you chose for this. All right, so continuing on. What we'll do is we'll, we'll grab the producer, we're going to move it on the y-axis, and we're going to put it in this area here. Uh, we'll move this up to about right there. Yeah, that looks about good. Now what we'll do is we're going to bring this down. Sparks are too, too well developed already. Um, all right, so that's spark set one. You, you, can, you can definitely mess with it, but just for the tutorial's sake, um, I'm not really going to get into making it look very good per se um, I mean because I went through and I, I was just messing with all kinds of stuff but in this one I will make that white and turn this to that pretty little green let's take it back a little bit yeah that's fine we'll just go ahead and mess with it like that I don't want to hold you guys up it's already been seven minutes alright so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this by pressing control D which makes another copy of that layer and we're just simply going to move over that producer. So drop down the producer on Sparks 2. And we'll just move it over. I think I'm going in the right direction. I don't know. Hold on, I'll tell you right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as I figure out where the heck it went. There it goes. There it goes. Alright. Moving it over, moving it over right there. Then we'll drop it down. Drop, 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 right there. Let's move it over to the right just a little bit more. Right there, and then drop it down a little bit more. So we'll just use the arrow keys. There we go, perfect. All right, so there goes the sparks. Save it. Uh, I'm, I'm not actually gonna save it, but you want to, since we've done a little bit of work already. Oh, look, it's animating. Well, I'll be. All right, anyways, let's see, we'll go here. We'll just leave it there for now. Um, now the next part it will be our lightning. Once again, Control Y to create a new layer, or you can just go up to here, up to layer, new layer, new solid, and we're back. Also, um, in this tutorial, we will be using a third-party plugin and/or assets, which is from Video Copilot's uh, Optical Flares. Um, if you don't have it, I will put a link in the description. And or pop something up on the screen 
and to navigate you guys to this which is it's actually probably one of my favorite products besides their action essentials to toolkit um, but either way yeah optical flare is amazing and uh, there's tutorials on 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 Andrew Kramer's site so you can go ahead and check those out I'm not gonna get into it very much here uh, so anyways we're gonna click our new black solid what we're going to do is we're gonna double not double click it why did I double click it we are going to press enter to rename it and I usually just name it flare space one because we will be duplicating that as well and it's just easier that way so right click effect video copilot optical flares and it pops up and there goes video copilot.net their website and we get this beautiful beautiful lens flare options we're gonna go to custom presets lights and I just chose the first one um, with the with a couple changes in the original uh, which I don't really remember exactly what the changes were <laughs> which is kinda of bad for a tutorial if you can't remember exactly what you did but shh it's, it'll, it'll be our little secret um, but what we will do is turn it green let's, let's give it a little bit more green everything needs to be green let's see we'll just go through and change everything from blue to green blue to green let's see keep going keep going oh I think I even added an element um, which was lens objects it may have been a was it a glint it may have been a glint we'll see I'm gonna mess with this thing and see where it takes us distance ooh nope rotation nope offset aspect ratio it may have not been a glint complexity you know what I believe it was let's go with does it go to 4? no it doesn't you know what it doesn't really even matter alright so we'll just, we'll just leave it with that we'll click OK which adds this and then what we'll do is we'll go to on transparent yeah that looks good that's that's good for now. Um, you will definitely want to spend more time on it than I am right now. Um, right now, I'm just kind of just going through it because it's already been 11 minutes and I'm just rambling through it. Uh, <laughs> and so yeah. Um, all right. So anyways, uh, that's flare one. That's fine. Oh, flare one, and we're going to duplicate it. Ooh. And this would be flare two. And just like the other one, we will move the actual position XY position here and we'll go BAM right there Booyah! also on flare one we want to grab the center position and let's move it let's move it to let's move this to about down here what we want to do is we want to get this little element the little caustic element right there somewhere in there so we'll just put that there and on flare two we'll do the same thing we'll put that in a different location to give that element a little a little helloing. Let's see. Um, let's put it up here. Up here looks good. All right. So so far so good. Um, save it. Control S. You always want to save. Save often as often as you possibly can. Um, more 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 times than not, you want to just save it. Also have backups and stuff like that. Uh, now the fun part, the electricity. Wait, first off, let's move. Well, we'll keep the flares on top. All right, so we're moving on to the lightning now. Control Y to create a new solid. Once again, black, that's fine with us. And we're going to name this. We're going to press enter and we're going to name it. You guessed it lightning. I, I actually forgot how to spell lightning there for a minute. Space one. That way, when we duplicate it, it becomes lightning space two. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go effect space or space. Uh, right click, go to effect, generate advanced lightning. Bam. Life gets so much easier after this. We're going to move this on top of that right there. Our two conductive points, and we're gonna grab this other point. If it stopped being stupid for a minute, and move it. To a other conductive point, if that's what it's called, I don't really know, but that's what I'm calling it. 
we've just been renamed to conductive point. All right, so <laughs> let's see. We're gonna take it back this way, and now we'll, oh, the lightning doesn't animate when you run through it. Cool. All right. Anyway, so what we're going to do is now we're going to fix our lightning. It looks it looks okay, but it doesn't look epic enough. So we're we're gonna make our lightning epic. We're gonna change our lightning type to two-way strike, which now gives it striking from this area and from this area and we're going to change some of these things uh... let's see first off we're going to waste strike uh... we'll go with core settings uh, our core radius will be two Oops, see that's one two our core opacity will be seventy five percent our see, glow settings will be radius will be 10.2 um, now of course yours uh, yours will definitely be different from mine um, but since I've already did this I kind of have an idea of where I need to take this uh, our glow opacity will be 67 really okay sure why not uh, our glow color will be once again that pretty green or whatever color you guys chose for this hmm seems to be blending in too much we'll probably do a little bit more color correction and changing why do I always do that it's just clicking in the middle button um and so yeah let's see what else do we have uh turbulence we're gonna go down here to a turbulence and make that point ninety and we will make our working at a hundred percent bam and then our decay we're gonna bring our decay up which gives it like this little veiny look which I call it my epic lightning look at that that, that just looks epic I, I don't care who you are that lightning looks a lot better than this lightning I just like it that way you know just for a still image yeah I mean look at that here let's uh I mean, let's 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 face it, all right, people. That's amazing. All right, so I I just love the way that lightning looks. All right, so anyways, it's moving on. Let's see. We'll just move it up. The original one was like three, three point twenty two. <laughs> Not double point fill. Twenty two. Uh, which is cool because we're going to duplicate duplicate it. See, there goes my bad habit of saving right there. Sorry. Um, well, save it since since we did that part. Go ahead and save it. All right. Um, now that we have that, we're actually going to create a second one, which is simple: duplicating. So Control D duplicates it, and this is actually going to be behind it. So we're going to take number two and drop it below the actual layer, and that way it just gives us some some depth to it. And we're going to change it a bit just so it doesn't look like it's a repeat simply by changing changing the conductive state now what we want to do is we want to find a part where it actually falls behind some of these things um, just so you, it gives it you know more of a, a hole to it you know it, it looks like it's 3d and it's layered well it looks like actual lightning because lightning doesn't just strike on you know just the front side of something or the back side of something it you know it goes around and through and all that other good stuff so yeah um, but you know what though that's pretty much that that's pretty much it with this in itself um, it's just a little bit of messing around and and tweaking some things uh, oh also you want to take the flares and make sure that they're above the lightning layers um, and that and then we'll also go ahead and do some color correction the sparks seem to be a little bit too big so we'll just bring it back into towards the birth of the actual sparks to make them a little bit smaller there we go that looks fine um let's see what else uh also that never i keep doing that I keep pressing the space bar which plays it because i'm used to illustrator and i press the space bar to make the hand come up but in after effects you click in the right you click in the middle mouse, mouse button and you can move it around so yeah sorry about that um save it again you always want to save uh it comes up when I save. Oh, all my files. Okay. Um, that's pretty much it as far as that's concerned. You can do some general color correction 
right click uh, effect uh, color correction we'll just go with curves for now and we'll just drop it down drop it down drop that up Ooh, that, that adds a little glow to it that's pretty nice um, that's what that does <laughs> Okay, anyways, I'm, I'm not even going to mess with that right now. Um, but that's pretty much the gist of it, as far as that's concerned. Another thing I was thinking of when I first did this was create a uh, uh, a reflection in the floor. Um, now, there's two ways you can go about it. You can right-click, go to Effect, Video Copilot. Wait, do I even have it? No, I don't even think I installed it yet. Was CC or the reflections. No, it's not even there right now. All right, so we'll do it the lazy way. We'll duplicate it. We'll move it down. Right click. Oh, you know what? I don't think we got a right click. Yeah, we'll do it this way. It's fine with me. And we'll just move it down, move it down, move it down. Press T for the opacity. Drop it down a bit. Um. Let's see what else. Let's let's move this over. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. Change that, and then also right click. Oh, okay. Right click. Um, effect. Uh, blur and sharpen. I will just do a a Gaussian blur, and we'll just take it up a bit. Uh, F5 it or not F. That's a tab. And we'll just use that little button to the left of the one key to full screen it. And voila. Alrighty. Okay, so let's go ahead and render this thing. Um, let's say this is the frame, right? Um, all I did, let me back out, um, was <clears throat> just cut it in between the two. Oh, also, the tilt key, if you hover whatever window you're hovering over, the button directly to the left of the one, which I believe is called the tilt key, will make that window full screen so wherever you hover over it will bring it up full screen so if you was wondering how I did that uh, whatever key that is directly to the to the left side of the of the one key will do that um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to pick a frame and uh, we're just going to run with it there's actually a few ways to select a frame you can just go up here to composition let's say you find the frame this is the frame right you know you like the way that actually I don't like the way those sparks look so we'll just pick We'll just pick this one. Okay, we'll just say we like the way those sparks look. Composition, save frame as, and then file type. And then you just go Photoshop sequence. You want to use a JPEG or whatever. You can use a, let's see, anything really. I mean, whatever you want it to be. You know, JPEG sequence for JPEG, Photoshop for a PSD file, PNG for PNG. Uh, but we're just going to use a JPEG sequence. Me, I always go bigger file, maximum. A standard optimize scans yada yada click OK click OK the render queue and then you render it and it's rendered I have no idea where it went um, did it go to the desktop no I actually did not go to my desktop oh yeah it did there it goes right there and voila there you have it people your logo so there you go um, if you don't like that particular frame you can always just select a different frame uh, you know primarily it's just for the sparks if you don't like the sparks or the way it looks um, you can always just go back and just right there composition again save frame as file it takes it to the render queue and then right down here is, is where you tell you where you tell it what you want it to be either JPEG or PNG Photoshop and you just select your JPEG sequence or your PNG or whatever you click OK and then down here let me see. I have very much room because I'm recording. Down here is where you tell where you tell it where where you want it to go. So there you have it. Um, and you just tell it save there. Replace it. Yep. Render. Yep. It's rendered. Saved. And voila. There you guys have it. Your very own electric logo. Um, and down here is where the ladies text would be and whatnot and whatnot. Wow, this is actually probably the longest tutorial or video I've ever done. Um, a lot of rambling and a lot of good stuff. So uh, definitely uh, check out videocopilot.net. Uh, thank you for watching. Um,
probably in some soon tutorial if it's not the next one I will be animating this and showing you uh, how to create a flash intro to a website maybe I don't know we'll, we'll see where that goes uh, but yeah you pretty much have it um, some you know just some simple color correction and messing with some things but it looks good as it is uh, the colors kind of blend too much so maybe you know desaturate the, the actual text itself just to pop out the actual lightning and stuff like that um, but yeah definitely there goes the original inside of uh, Illustrator here goes the final product inside of After Effects. I mean, jumping between the two products is, is single-handedly amazing, and I do it all the time. Um, so thank you for watching. I'm Phil with IP Tuts, and definitely subscribe, comment, rate. Uh, I don't even think there is a rate anymore. I don't know. Thumbs up. Uh, I need some of them. And definitely subscribe because I will be bringing you a lot more tutorials. Definitely a lot more, um, and I need more subscribers. So go ahead and uh, tell your friends and your mom. Um, let's see what else. Is there anything else I have to say? Uh, tch, 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 tch. No. Thank you for watching. Uh, tune in for more tuts. Take care. Bye.